So we're making a good old Southern classic in red beans and rice, all right? So listen, I ain't an auntie from New Orleans or nothing like that, but you're going to taste the spirit when you get into this recipe, okay? So it's full of Cajun Creole flavors that you're going to love. And it's actually super easy, all right? I'm going to make it real simple for you. So all the ingredients will be in the description box below. And while you down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because I know you be watching these videos and be forgetting to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and then also hit that notification bell so you can be tapped in with all the recipes coming your way, all right? Well, let's get it. I do my thing in the kitchen. My name is Cord, I'm for the culture, and I'm here with a vision. We here to talk, chop it up. They say the odds are stacked against us. <laughs> we ain't seen that bet. And the things we do in kitchens, y'all ain't seen that shit. Yes, Lord, let me talk. Listen, man, we here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. You know, I'm turned into kitchen culture podcast. <laughs> all right. So what we got is a pound of some andouille sausage. We're just gonna go ahead and cut these on up. So you could really, it ain't too many rules with this. Just cut it how you want to. I like to cut them in the little small rings, like so, or in the small circles. You know what I mean? Just kind of go, ugh, get you a good knife, make your cuts. And then if you want to make another cut to make these a little bit smaller, then, you know, just run it back again. Let's go ahead and get this going, all right? So what we're going to do is turn your eye on to about like a medium high to medium. Just depend on your stove, right? Go ahead and hit this with either some vegetable oil, avocado, or some grapeseed oil. So go ahead and add your andouille sausages on in. And we're just trying to brown these real quick. All right, so we're gonna let this brown. So we're cooking probably about just two to three minutes each side. All right, so we're gonna take these out and then just set them into a bowl or a plate or something like that, but keep that grease there because that's gonna be flavor that we're building. And it already smells good. And I'm gonna do this thing. All right, y'all, so in that same skillet, we're gonna go ahead and drop our onions in. So that's a diced yellow onion, or it can be white or yellow, don't matter. We're gonna go ahead and add your green bell pepper on in. And we chopped up a couple celery stalks. And this, y'all, is what we call the Holy Trinity. So we're going to let all these veggies cook down for just about five minutes, all right? Let them get a little softened. With garlic, it's, it's kind of subjective, right? How much, how much garlic do you like? I done cut up about, like, five garlic cloves. Um, totally a few. But typically, you do about two to three garlic cloves. We're going to add those in and let that cook down. So we're going to add in some garlic powder. Yes, we got garlic and garlic powder. <clears throat> Little onion powder. Add in a little cayenne. All right. Be very mindful so that way you don't have it too be, yeah, so that way it don't be too spicy. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. So you get smoked turkey necks, which is most common. You get smoked turkey legs, which I got right here, turkey tails. But you want to get you some smoked meat. We're going to add this in, and we're going to create us a little, we're going to create us a nice little brothy situation. So we're going to come in with six cups of liquid. So we got four cups of some chicken broth. And yeah, add in two cups of some water. So once this comes up to a boil, we're gonna reduce that temp, cover it on up with a lid, and then we're gonna let this go for about an hour and a half. All right, y'all, so look. Patience is a virtue. So go ahead and take your smoked turkey meat and me, just set this on a bowl, or set this in a bowl or on a plate. And the meat should really be, if not falling off the bone, it should be pretty damn close. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shred that meat. If you're doing this by hand, obviously get you some heat resistant gloves or something like that because, you know, common sense. So 
while shredding this, make sure you get any of them ligaments or extra petty bones out the way because you know what I mean? That's gonna mess up the experience of this. And then repeat the process till you're done. So while waiting on that to finish up, you gotta tap in with my cookbook, Kitchen Culture. All right, the best Big Bad cookbook on the market. I mean, it ain't all Big Bad recipes. It's like a good three vegetable recipes. You know, I kind of felt like I overdid it a little bit, but just let me, let me put you on real quick. So it's all sorts of recipes up in this thing. So you got some buffalo chicken sliders up in there, honey chipotle garlic shrimp, you know what I mean? Cocktails, hey, that, that's me. Some basil garlic lamb chops, deep fried ribs, you know what I'm saying? It's all sorts of stuff in here from deep fried goodness to, to holiday meals, mac and cheese, cocktails. The possibilities is endless, but look, grab you a copy of the book through my YouTube shop or hit the description box below. But back to the recipe though. So now that we got smoked meat shredded up, go ahead and drop in about two or three bay leaves. Some hot sauce. If you're gonna get you some hot sauce, do either crystals or some Louisiana hot sauce. Literally the only two options that you should be using for this. Yeah, add all that smoked meat on in. So we're gonna add us some smoked paprika. I forgot to do this when we was doing the pot liquor, but it don't matter if you add it now or before. So add a little bit of smoked paprika. So now we're gonna add a pound of some red beans that we done soaked overnight. Add that on in. And then don't forget your andouille sausages. So go ahead and add that on in. Go ahead and just stir everything and get it all incorporated. Cover this on up and we're gonna let this simmer for about an hour. All right, so the red beans and rice is done at this point, right? Now what you wanna do to thicken this up, you either take about a cup of the beans and then mush them that way, or most commonly just mash some up against the side of, the, uh, against the side of your pot. Because the starch from the beans is going to release and then it's going to actually thicken this liquid on up how you like it. So we wait to the end to add anything that got like sodium, for instance, like either salt or some tony. So go ahead, test it. Go ahead, taste your work real quick. That way you don't have no salty ass food. So look, just hit it with a little bit of tony. It's probably like half a teaspoon. All right, so we're gonna let this simmer for about another 15 minutes, and then we're gonna be ready to plate up. Garnish that thing with some green onion. Piece of fish. And you go ahead and hit it with a piece of fish. Hell, why not a piece of chicken too? Mm. <laughs> well, we ain't on chopper two a little baby, but let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> hey, we ain't the ones, but that shit was eating though. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> oh yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> you tuned into the chef core in the kitchen. We here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> <laughs>